Now, for the same reasons we went through our vocal and cleaned up those media items, we're going to do the same thing for every track in the project. We're going to look at the acoustic guitar track first. Here's actually another shortcut you should learn, and that is the page up and page down buttons, and that is a way to change the height of all the tracks at the same time. So page down makes them smaller, page up makes them bigger. Go back up to the top here where my acoustic guitar is. Make that a little bit bigger. Page up, page up, page up. And scroll up again. Okay. I'm going to hit W to make sure I'm at the beginning of the song. I'm going to zoom in. So, the first thing I want to do is get rid of this silence here. In fact, I'm going to solo the acoustic guitar so we can just hear what's going on there. Yeah, you can kind of hear me, hear me breathe and some squeaking on the guitar. We want to get rid of that. So we can just grab the left edge, hold shift to release the grid, and bring it over to about where the guitar starts. We want it just a bit before. Go, we're going to zoom in here now, just using the scroll wheel, and increase this fade. Just go up to that top corner and drag across. Zoom out. Let's just hear how that sounds coming in. Good, I'm happy with that. Sounds natural. I don't hear any clicks or pops. Now, there are no edits in the acoustic guitar. I'm going to zoom out here so we can see that. So we can actually skip right to the end and clean this up. Zoom in again here. We've got two extra little items at the end which we can just select and delete. And I've got the acoustic guitar soloed still. I just want to hear this last chord ring out. Right around here, I heard a little thump. Let's hear that one more time. Listen here. And you may need to turn your headphones up or your speakers up to hear that, but uh, there is a little thump there. So I want to make sure that that fade out ends by that point. Let me, make, let me just zoom in a little closer. I want to watch it again. Okay, so it's right about there. So I'm going to say... The acoustic guitar will end right here. So, quick way, I've already got my playhead there. I've got the item selected. I can hit S, and that will split the item so that I can now take everything after that point and hit Delete. It's gone. Now what we need to do is change this fade out. Just go up to this top corner, drag this over. Let's hear how natural this sounds. Sounds good. I actually have done this a few times, so I'm going to try a different shape that I think sounds a little bit more natural in this case, which doesn't look any more natural. It's a straight line, but let's just take a, one more listen. There we go. So doing that more gradual fade out at the end actually creates a more seamless ending. And it's really common practice for any sound that rings out to just fade to silence over a, in this case, quite a number of seconds. It goes from about 3 minutes and 55 seconds to 3 minutes 42 seconds. So that's a good 7 or 8 seconds. So it's a very, very gradual fade. So we don't really even notice it. It just sounds like the guitar is ringing out. All right, let's zoom out and take a look at what else we need to do. I'm going to unsolo. The acoustic guitar, and we're going to scroll down. We've already done the vocal. The drums we don't need to do because they're MIDI. Because MIDI items don't contain any audio, they don't require the same kind of cleanup. Silence is truly silence on MIDI tracks, and the sounds will always fade to nothing. Now the shakers and the maracas, I actually would like them to not be in the fourth verse. That's the quiet verse. So, how do I go about removing them from just that section? Well, what do we need to do? Well, remember, we need to separate the section we want to change from the rest of the items on that track. Well, let's first of all put our playhead at the start of verse 4. And we'll zoom in, just make sure we're right in the right spot. 
We'll even hit play just to make sure. That's exactly where we want to be. So with the item selected that we want to change, in fact, I want to do this with both the maraca and the shaker. So if I hold shift, now that I've selected the shaker and hit the maraca, I now have them both selected. I can hit the S key and now I have a new media item. So now we've got the start of where we want them to end marked in a sense. And now we need to go to where we want them to come back in. So I'm going to zoom out and I want them to come back in on this chorus. So let's move our playhead here. I'm going to hit play just to double check I'm in the right spot. Go in the wink of an eye. That's where I want to be. So I'm going to leave my playhead there. I've got the shaker selected. I'm going to hold shift, select the maraca, hit the S key. Now I have these items in the verse that I can now do whatever I want with. I'm actually going to select both of them. Again, just holding shift when one is selected and hit the delete key. They're gone. Let's just hear what that sounds like going into the verse. Yorkshire lady, your man's gone away. Good. I'm happy with that. Now let's hear them coming back into the chorus. We come go in the wing. That's exactly what I wanted to have happen. I think that's much better. There's one other spot I want them gone as well, and that is at the end of this chorus. The guitar just strums and rings out. We're going to listen for it. Right there. When the drums come in, I want them to come back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select here. So I know that at the solo, I want them to come back. So I'm actually going to just split both of these items at that spot, just hitting the S key. Then selecting the two again, holding shift just to select both items. And I'm going to grab the right edge of this media item and just pull it to the left. Let's see what that sounds like. So now I have this section empty. The same old. Almost perfect, but I want to have the shaker happen on beat one there. So I'm going to zoom in using the scroll wheel. I have both of these selected again. I'm going to hold shift down to release the grid. I'm going to extend both of these regions at the same time because they're both selected. And just want to have that first ch -ch right here. I'm going to grab this fade, make those a little bit longer just to smooth that out. So let's take one more listen, make sure I've got that. There we go. It's just like we played it that way. Zoom out, make sure that uh, there's nothing else we need to do on that track. Nope, that's good. So let's scroll down, just using the scroll wheel when I'm over here to scroll down. I see there's a little bit of silence at the front of the bass. So zoom in and I can just grab this. I'm going to hold the shift to release the grid. Again, zoom in. This one, I bet you I can get even closer because this was recorded direct, so there's no room tone or anything. It's just a matter of getting rid of any anything that's there. Just extend that just a little bit. And I'm going to zoom out. And I think the only other spot, well, we actually, let's double check these. We did these edits. I see that I put a crossfade there. I put a crossfade there. I can see that. And this one as well. Yes, there's a crossfade. So I've got fades everywhere I need to have fades there. I'm going to go right to the end. And yeah, see the bass just kind of boom, abruptly ends there. Uh, let's see. I'm going to solo it. So you can hear it on its own. We're just going to hear this last note ring out and hear what that sounds like. Yeah, you hear that whoop at the end, hear that again. I don't want to have that. In fact, 
I'm going to unsolo that so I can hear it in context. I think I want this note to end pretty much on beat one of this bar. Yeah, because I want it to be gone by the time that last chord comes in. So let's solo it again just so we can focus on it. I'm just going to put my cursor where I want it to stop, hit the S key, and now this area here is selected. We've split this and this area is selected. I can hit delete. Now the bass is going to end there, but it's going to be really abrupt, and I don't want that. So I can just fade it out more gradually. To hear that fade out, I'm just going to play the bass on its own. Nice. It's just like we played it that way. So I'm going to zoom out again. And I did do a couple of extra tracks in the meantime. So I have a harmony track here. It only starts right near the end. I'm going to get rid of this silence here. Just grab the edge of the region here. Hold shift, pull this over. Put a fade on it. Using alt and scroll, I'm going to scroll from left to right. I've got some stuff to clean up at the end here. Another quick way to grab more than one media item at a time is to click with the right mouse button and draw a box. And that will select anything under the box. So I've got those selected. I see there's nothing there. I'm just going to hit delete. Grab this edge. Hold shift. Just have a little bit more control. Bring this in. And add the fade by going up to the top. Zoom out. That's that. I have a lead guitar track now. Should get in here. I'm going to zoom in with the scroll wheel. Holding shift again. Tighten up the edge here. Go up to the top. Put a little fade on it. Zoom out. See, i got to get rid of this little piece. Oh, in fact, you know what? I can see that there's actually more here. Sometimes it is good to get right in there and, and make sure that you don't miss any of these little snippets of audio. So I just selected that, hit delete. Put a fade out on this guitar. I'm going to use the Alt scroll to move over here. Again, holding Shift, bringing that edge in using Alt and Scroll Wheel to go to the right, and again, get rid of this extra little piece at the end, which we don't need. Grab the right edge and bring it in, and make a really smooth fade out on this last note here. I'm going to solo this just to see what that sounds like, or rather, to hear what it sounds like. Nice and smooth. So we've gone through all our audio items. We've made sure to get all of our fades as we want them. And that's how you clean up your project by putting on fades and removing silence.